Welcome back. I'm Hannah Vanderkoy. Here's your entertainment update. No, you don't need to turn up the sound on your TV. It's a silent film that's making all the noise this year. The Independent Spirit Awards has released its nominations, and The Artist, which chronicles the declining fortune of a silent film star, has received five nominations, including Best Feature. It's tied for most nominations with Take Shelter. Ryan Gosling and George Clooney are close with four nominations apiece for their respective films Drive and Descendants. Michelle Williams received a nod for Best Actress for her portrayal of the sensual Marilyn Monroe. The 2012 Independent Spirit Awards are on February 25th in Santa Monica. Wayne Gretzky's 22-year-old daughter Paulina Gretzky has deleted her Twitter account, which had more than 24,000 followers. Paulina is an aspiring model, singer, and actress who is most famous for posting photos of her party-filled Los Angeles lifestyle on Twitter. Oh right, and she has that song on MTV's Laguna Beach soundtrack. She closed down her Twitter account on what seemed to be her father's orders. Her last two tweets seemed to say it all. Having a nice sit-down dinner with my dad about social media, which was closely followed with taking a break from Twitter for a bit, happy holidays, XOXO. Comedian Patrice O'Neill died yesterday from complications of a recent stroke. The 41-year-old comedian gained popularity recently with the Comedy Central Charlie Sheen roast in September. O'Neill was a frequent guest on Opie and Anthony radio show and also had several half-hour specials on Showtime and HBO. The late comedian struggled with diabetes throughout his life. The late Amy Winehouse received international acclaim for her voice and now for her fashion choices. A dress worn by Winehouse sold for over $67,000 at an auction. Winehouse wore the chiffon dress on the cover of her chart-topping Back to Black album. Proceeds will go to the Amy Winehouse Foundation, which her father set up to help young people struggling with health, poverty, or addiction. The dress will appear in the Museo de la Moda in Chile. Kourtney Kardashian has announced she is nine weeks pregnant with her second child. The reality TV star's newest show, Kim and Courtney Take New York, premiered on Sunday to record-breaking premiere ratings. This show brought in 3.2 million viewers who may have been seeking an inner look at Kim Kardashian and Chris Humphrey's crumbling marriage. That's all for entertainment. Now back to Maureen and Colin at the desk. Thanks, Hannah. That's all for Humber News for today. Thanks for joining us. I'm Colin Ellis. And I'm Marion Khan. Humber News is written and produced by the journalism students at the North Campus. You can also catch us online at mediaservices.humber.ca. We'll see you next time. But for now, we'll leave you with pictures of some unexpected weather, Toronto's first snowfall of the year.